This led to a very interesting line of research in our laboratory by Jeff Kovacs, uh, which involves uh, smoothened. Now, smoothened, as some of you may know, is a very uh, atypical, non-canonical, if you will, seven transmembrane receptor, uh, which uh, may not even couple to G proteins at all. Together with its inhibitory co-receptor patched, it mediates the important effects on the ligand of the ligand sonic hedgehog uh, to lead to cellular proliferation and embryonic pattern formation. Now, several years ago, uh, a number of laboratories showed that in order for smoothen to function, it must be translocated to the primary cilium of cells so that it can be in close proximity with the GLI family of transcription factors. Now, since it was known that the kinesin KIF3A was necessary for primary cilia formation, and moreover, that it was somehow, by unknown mechanisms, required for smoothen function, and given that we had discovered that there was an interaction between berestins and KIF3A, we wondered whether this interaction of berestin and KIF3A might somehow be involved in the translocation of smoothened, which was required to the cilia uh, in order for it to function. And in fact, we were able to find that when the system is stimulated by sonic hedgehog, berestin 2 is recruited to smoothened, thereby bridging a ternary complex of smoothened, berestin, and KIF3A. The KIF3A motor then translocates the entire unit to the primary cilium into proximity with GLI transcription factors, which can then be activated, leading to smoothened signaling. And in fact, we demonstrated, as has Mark Caron's group, that uh, in this case, berestin 2 is required for smoothened signaling. Interestingly, GRK2 appears to be required as well. These interesting and somewhat unexpected results have raised the possibility that berestins might function even more widely uh, as adapters to motors to facilitate the cellular trafficking of other G-protein coupled receptors and perhaps for other cellular cargos as well.